Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> and many people will be traveling this 4th of July, making plans to swim in lakes or even travel to the ocean. And we've been telling you lately about a flesh-eating bacteria that made a 12-year-old girl visiting Florida very sick and even killed a woman who cut her leg while also visiting a Florida beach. It'll make you nervous. Health professionals in that the condition is a type of strep infection that's not very common, but it can kill you if it's not treated immediately. Crashing waves, fun in the sun. It's why we travel to the beach. But a flesh-eating bacteria called necrotizing fasciitis can turn your vacation upside down in a hurry. The term flesh-eating bacterium is sort of a term that gets people's attention. It sounds terrible, and it is. It really is probably several different kinds of infections. No eye troubles. Ah. Dr. Steve Threlkeld, an infectious disease specialist at Baptist Memphis, says flesh-eating bacteria is a form of strep A, a germ that's common until it gets into a small cut or scrape. That's when the bacteria shuts down blood vessels and kills what's called soft tissue. In sort of a galloping fashion, up an arm or up a leg or an abdomen or, or so forth. And you have to go in and literally remove that soft tissue and skin overlying the muscle uh, to be able to save the patient in many circumstances because it makes you very ill when it happens. Threlkeld says the bacteria can move quickly. So it's important to clean wounds and get antibiotics as soon as you notice something unusual, like a cut that's turning red, expanding, and very painful. The bacteria can thrive in warm gulf water, lakes, swimming pools, even hot tubs, on the coast or right here in Shelby County. Think about how many millions of people go to the beach, you know, every year all around the world. But, for instance, in Shelby County, we average about 30 to 50 invasive group A strep infections a year. It's not super common. While it's not possible to rid oceans and lakes of the bacteria, you can do your part by keeping pools and hot tubs clean and chlorine levels checked to make sure bacteria doesn't have a place to grow. This is the first I ever heard about this stuff. For artist Wilkins on his way to Texas, images of what necrotizing fasciitis can do are shocking. I want though to be cautious of not going in there with an open scar because situations like this, you just get eat up. Yeah, it'll blow your mind, won't it? Now, it is rare. While it is rare for anyone to contract that bacteria, people with health problems that lower the body's ability to fight infection really are the most vulnerable. And the best advice is to stay out of the water if you have any kind of open wound. You don't want anything like that to ruin your vacation. Oh, of course not. And, but, and when you're time back when you get home. You're exactly right. Yeah. The problem is some of those wounds are so small you don't yeah. even really notice, but I guess you really have to pay attention. I guess so. Just